all right this is a little bit the menu here like in a restaurant you know um, what possibilities we have you know to catch mice these days you know um, we will start off obviously with uh, the general normal one which is poison you know where you basically bite the mice and um, they catch we started off with small little buckets and we had even eight kilo buckets so there's a lot of those um, sold we have the uh, Roma kill blocks you know which are pretty common around we have the poisoned wheat you know which again is um, you know quite popular in different sizes you know and uh, they usually are put in little uh, little card box like this you put the poison in there and then the mice will eat them um, if you use blocks normally we have what we call little uh, bite stations you know so other animals can't can't get to them like dogs and cats and of course kids you know which I guess is very important I think that's pretty much what we start in the beginning we have the uh, little traps here you know where yeah my fingers most probably will be too you know mouse goes in and gets uh, gets caught there's some really nasty ones I think that one is uh, I would say it would be our most popular one we sell and that's quite effective you know it's little devices here you you actually put the peanut butter whatever else and you close it and uh, I mean this one is you sort of ow I could put your finger and I wouldn't try it on this one here another one which is a fairly new one it's a really funny one it's called the mouse cube the mouse just walks in and then the door shuts behind and the mouse is looking okay what I'm gonna do now and this is where it leads it us into the life uh, trapping devices now life trapping basically it's all wonderful and cute but you have to do something with the mice afterwards you know so that's, I like that one, I really do, you know, we had a couple of mice here gave me a hard time eating all our poison here, you know, which was intended to be sold, and uh, when I got that one in, I tried it out, it's really funny, it looks like a little tent, you know, where the mouse goes in, you can put a little bite on the end, and as the mouse moves, there's a really ping, and it closes, and the mouse is stuck in there, then in the morning you come, you're just like, okay, there's something in there, and then the next question is, what are you going to do with it? Well, I think you have about three options, um... The option number one is you let it run away in your neighbor's garden if you don't really like your neighbor. Or the second option is uh, you drown it, which is what a lot of people do. Or the third option is you let it um, go out far away from town and let it run away over there. So that's really entirely everybody's choice. Now, the newest ones we had, you know, and they were really hard to get because so many of them are sold at the moment all across Australia, are the ones which catch a little bit more. This is a small one. And uh, when I started with this one, you know, um, I took one home, and this is the first night. I had 12 mice in there, and I could not believe it. They were all running all over each other. And everybody says use peanut butter, but I thought I'm going to try something different. I had some Nutella. And I could not believe how many, how many mice was in there. And until uh, last week, I thought I had pretty much the record on this one until... Uh, some friends from Mount Ebenezer came in and they says, guess what, we had 25 in there. They were so full, the cages were actually expanding, you know. And on these ones, you really can put anything from oats to weeds to peanut butter, anything you like. And for some strange reason, the mouse just keep on going in until there are so many in there, there's no more space. Now, obviously, that is the larger version one of those. The record I have heard was 221, I think, caught mice in one hit, that is. There was absolutely mice everywhere. This one would also work for a rat, obviously, if the hole is a little bit bigger. You know, we would have sold, I don't know how many hundreds of those. You know, they really run out the door. That's one of the latest one we got in two weeks ago. It's a little bit different system. You put them alongside the wall and, because mice seem to run in straight lines. You know, they go straight in and there's only a one-way street. So they go in and the little door shuts and then they catch up. So the first one I sold to a gentleman uh, in Tichikala, and he asked me how many mice he can catch in this one. I says, look, I really don't know. I have never really heard anything. So I would imagine you get about 15 mice in there. And the very next day he rings me up and he says, you lied to me. I says, what do you mean you lied to me? He said, you lied to me. I said, what do you mean? He says, you told me 15 mice fit in this trap. Now you explain to me why I had 43 in there, you know? I said, well, thank you for the message. Where's the photograph, you know? Um, the next one, which is a little bit of a sensitive subject, you know, because in the beginning we were thinking about, if you should say, the glue traps, okay? Now, glue traps, uh, I don't personally um, like them very much, but the mo most important thing is you do something with the mice. What happens here, um, this is like a, a sort of a thicker version one where this is just a, a paper thin one, they're about a dollar, and these ones are about five, I think. And what happens is, 
the mouse will get caught on it, you know, and can't move anywhere. Even one foot, you will stick the mouse to it. So we were asking a lot of our customers who know them from Queensland and, and really buy them in, in, in the, by the dozen, what they're gonna do with it. And some of them said, well, we put them out and the birds will pick them off and eat them. Um, another one, of course, is we would drown them. The third one says, I pick them off, you know, and I feed them to my dog. You know, lots of different options, you know, but um, this has really taken off, I would say, in the last, um, yeah, I would say about the last months, or we started selling more and more. This is just a simple one. You just rip the paper off, you know, and uh, it's pretty sticky, you know, pretty sticky stuff. And of course, as with everything, you start little small, and then you go into the big boxes, you know. This is like, this is the uh, the box we're selling now. It's a whole whole box in it, you know, which has you just you just pull them out and they are like a whole a whole tray from that's basically how they look like and they are usable quite a few times you're not just once you know so that's i would say the latest ones we got in um and then of course because they also work very well for uh, cockroaches and other little crawly things you know we um we've got little tunnels one for them you know so you basically just put that one in there and it protects it from the dust and stuff like that so from the poison to the life catching devices to the little mice traps, you know. Oh, that's another little thing. That's a, what we call an attractant, you know. So there's some really nice smelly stuff in there which the mice like. So there's more. Um, that's another life one, which is what we call a repeat mouse trap. It's really funny. You you wind it up, okay, and um, the mice will go in on the side, and as it goes in, it triggers. I don't know how to explain that. It's something like a, a windmill, you know. It snaps forward and it propels the mouse in the front chamber, you know, and it keeps on doing this because as you wind it up, the spring will just move it one notch forward, you know. Um, quite a popular, because it's sort of a little bit better looking one, it would blend out into a house. Now, what's the big difference between catching them alive or poisoning them is obviously if they are getting, uh, um, disappear somewhere in your house, it starts smelling, as we all know, pretty bad. And in that way, if you catch them alive, you can get them out of the house rather than they're dying in a corner. And I think the um, piece of resistance is our electronic one. Now, the good thing about this is it will catch about 10 mice at a time. I would say it's the most humane mouse trap we have. Um, the system is quite simple. Uh, we put it usually against the wall or something. The mouse has two ways it can walk up and as they noisy are, they can walk in there. And as the mouse walks in the chamber, you know, it hits those Two metal plates and will get electrocuted in about two to three seconds so it's a really fast way to die for the mouth and then afterwards the little computer in there recognizes the mouse is in there it switches over the little chamber it pushes it down and the mouse will end up in a drawer so again when I took that one home for the first time to try it out I had instantly 11 mice in there and the little light in the front flashes and says yes so I'm full or not we would have sold about, I don't know, over 120 of those. They are really hard to get for the moment because they're coming from America. Um, but they are very popular because, again, it's a fast and quick way to kill a mouse. And uh, you just have to basically empty the drawer. Those, the mouse will not disappear. So, really, people have the choice from every single direction. And um, at the moment, the stock level is all, all high up because the, it's getting colder. The mice are getting a little further away. But we have been warned by at least three different suppliers that when spring and summer comes along it will be twice as bad as it is now so this is not going to go away and the damage to mice can do in electronics what we have heard stories here from car damage to uh, air conditionings to uh, electronic devices uh, we're not even talking about agriculture you know where, it, uh, where they eat a lot of wheat and food it's not going to go away this problem so we better deal with it